Right, welcome back to Pro Tip Tuesday. Brent Zepp, Director of Golf here at Chambers Bay, and I'm here with Stuart Hegestad, the low am in this year's Masters. We're at Chambers Bay on hole five, and Stuart's got a great tip for us, so take it away. Thanks for jumping in. Yeah, yeah, happy to do it. So, um, you know, something that kind of sticks out to me a little bit about Chambers Bay, and I remember it from when I played in the U.S. Amateur here back in 2010, um, is almost kind of similar to something that they have a lot of at Augusta National. Mm -hmm. It's cut so tight around the greens yeah. that I, I think, you know, you're going to see a lot of players this week that are going to go and they're going to use a putter from around the greens. I think one thing that a lot of amateurs kind of get caught up in is they're so just normalized to gravitating towards a wedge around the greens. Absolutely they are. And that's not exactly, I think a lot of times, you know, that's fine if, if that's what you're comfortable with, but I don't think it should be frowned upon, you know, to see a tight lie like this you know, maybe on a, a little bit of a longer hole yeah. and, and to feel the need to hit either that bump and run or that pitch and run or even, you know, kind of that soft lob shot that you see so many of the pros and what they're so good Absolutely. at. Absolutely. So I think, um, and I used a lot of this at Augusta, I tried to putt it from wherever I could. Yeah. So putting's simple, right? Uh, it's it's simple. And a lot of times your, your best shot is going to be pretty similar with the two of them, but yeah. your miss is typically going to be better with a putter. Absolutely. So, I mean, yeah. you could sit here and you could, you know, choose between your nine wedges or yeah. You know, however many you have in the bag. I mean, right. you can sit here and you can hit some kind of a chip shot. I, I, I mean, like I'm gonna putt this all day, and that's fine. I mean, it's gonna end up being like 10 feet, but right. I think a lot of amateurs, what I would impress upon them is don't feel obligated to take a wedge out. Right, you know, and from, amateurs probably not gonna do that for 10 feet. Either. Oh no, and that's, yeah. I mean, that's not even that bad. So yeah. I would say, you know, I would take out a putter, and, and I would kind of get more comfortable from a tight lie with using. You know the flat stick. I like it. Um, I'll, I'll see if I can hit one relatively close here, but um, notice I'm not anchoring because he's not anchoring <laughs> because Bernhard. I love the other guys. That's probably gonna end up being what about? It's gonna be much much closer than the chip without much effort. That's what I mean. That's not great. That's what about six feet. But you're gonna make so many more of those. Yeah. I just think I think a lot of uh, this week. Um, you're going to see a lot of guys that are choosing to take the putter versus the wedge from around the greens just based off of how tight it is. I love the tip. That's going to help all those uh, yeah. ams out there that would love to be like you. So. Oh my gosh. Well, <laughs> thanks for having me. Thanks for jumping in.